الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم صلى الله على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا كثيرا رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي واجعل لي وزيرا من أهلي uh, We are continuing on with Surah Nisa Ayah number 52 Ayah number 51 says, أَلَمْ تَرَ إِلَى الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا نَصِيبًا مِنَ الْكِتَابِ Do you all not see or do you not see those whom we've given a portion of the revelation? يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْجِبِتِ وَالطَّاغُودِ But they believe in the false deities and they believe in worshipping other than Allah, idols. وَيَقُولُونَ إِنْ لَيْسَ إِلَى الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا To those who disbelieve, to those who disbelieve, so those who've completely rejected and they do not have any kind of <coughs> way, any kind, they don't accept any, 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 any revelation, they don't accept. So the difference here is that uh, some were given portions of it in which they had accepted. And uh, of course they uh, 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 changed or they rotated a lot of things in what was given to them. They did not uphold the covenant that the the prophets took on their behalf, but they say to those who are completely rejectful, "Ha'ulai you all are on a better course than those who believe. You have a better way than those who believe." Min al-ladina amun sabila. Fifty-two. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Ulaika al-ladina." They are the ones whom la'anahum Allah. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala punishes. Wa ma'yal ani Allah in whom sab Allah Subhanahu wa Taala punishes. Wa ma'yal ani Allah who falan tajida lahu nasira whom sab Allah Subhanahu wa Taala punishes. He or she will not have any uh, any rescuer. Am lahum nasib min al min al mulk. Do they have any uh, share in Allah Subhanahu wa Taala? Uh, kingdom, do they have any share of kingdom? So either la yutun and nasa naqira. If that were the case, then everybody, every human being, uh, would would have a a safe passage. Am yahsudun and nas, or are they encouraging people? Alama atahum Allah min fadli in that in which Allah subhanahu wa taala has given them. Are they trying to uh, make them feel that? They have more or they have better than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, has, has granted, what subhan- Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestows. <coughs> Yet we have given Ibrahim, Ibrahim, Al Kitab, the revelation, Wal Hikmah, and uh, judgment, sound judgment. And we gave, we gave them Mulkan Azima, and we gave them uh, great great uh, kingdoms. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, you think, you feel or you think that you have a portion of kingdom which is going to enable you to be safe from me. And the kingdom that people are uh, most counting on is the kingdom that uh, we have on this earth. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam, Abraham, uh, was given uh, the revelation and he was given uh, sound judgment. If you go back to Surah Baqarah, what it is that he had prayed for, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted and granted it from him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept us among them. From in whom there was those of them men amana bihi, those who accepted wa minhum, and then there were from them man sadda'an, those who went uh, in their own way, وَكَفَى بِجَحَنَّمَ سَعِيرَ And the uh, hellfire is their destination. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِآيَاتِنَا Verily those who disbelieve in our signs, in our uh, divine signs and revelations. So for نُصْلِهِمْ نَارَ We are prepared for them, the hellfire. كُلَّمَا نَجَّدْ جُلُودُهُمْ Whenever they felt that the uh, punishment that was upon them was... Uh, more was was at its uh, what as its end. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will uh, will renew it for them. So, any type of uh, 
healing that they thought uh, they were getting from the punishment or any kind of respite they were getting from the punishment, that's when they, they are even renewed, the newer punishment. So Allah is talking about the severity. بَدَّلْنَاهُمْ جُدُودًا غَيْرَهَا لِيَذُوقُ الْعَذَابِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَزِيزًا حَكِيمًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all wise in how he punishes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all wise in how he judges. In all noble, by the way, in all noble as well. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Those who believe who amilu salihati and do righteously سَنُدْخِلُهُمْ مِوَلْ إِنْتَ دَمْ جَنَّاتٍ In the jannat, the paradises, tajri, in which below them مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارُ rivers flow خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا abada. They will abide there forever. Lahum fiha. They will have azwajum mutahara. They will have mates. Uh, they will have uh, pure mates. Wanudhiluhum wilan walila. And we will also enter them into uh, great uh, uh, hospitality from Allah. Inna Allah ya amrukum. Allah Taala has commanded un- uh, upon you. And to adul amana to ila ahliha to return that and what is trusted to you to those whom uh, it is their right to have. Wida hakam tum bain al nas and if you are judging between the people and to hakam bil adil to judge upon them on the basis of fairness and balance justice. Inna Allah hani ima ya idukum bi Allah subhanahu wa taala is reminding you uh, of his rewards in doing and what it is that he has prescribed. Inna Allah verily Allah kana he is sami'an all hearing basira all seeing reminding us. Ya ayyuhalladina amunu o you who believe ati Allah hold on to Allah hold firm to Allah wa ati al-Rasul accept him and accept Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa uli al-amri minkum and also those who are in charge of your affairs and your those who are in authority over you. And this is a reminder because uh, prior we talked about uh, the responsibility that the male has over the female. Allah Ta'ala entrusted. And therefore they have a certain amount of authority. In Islam, obedience obedience is required from the wife. She has to be obedient to her husband. Her husband also in Islam has to give her her rights and those rights we talked about. In the in the previous uh, one, Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu ati Allah wa ati al Rasul wa ulul amri minkum. So 59 is talking about hold on to Allah, hold on to His Rasul alayhi sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and those who are in authority over you. For intanazatum, if they try to, if there is anyone in those who are authority over you who somehow are in doubt. In anything, fi shayin furuduhu, then return it to Allah, ila Allah wa Rasuli, in wa Rasul, in into His Messenger. So go back to the Quran, see if you can find the resolution there. Those in authority, see if you can find the mother is an authority over her children. The children are an authority over each other on the basis of uh, uh, sound maturity and age, mainly age, because of course uh, in Islam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed your older sibling to be older than you. So therefore, since Allah ta'ala gave them that seniority in age, you have to also give them seniority. That's why we mentioned and we touched on uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's statement. Inshallah, we pray that he makes it easier for us to accept, embrace, and understand. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to do so. In kuntum, if you are to minuna believe, billahi in Allah, wal yomil akhir, and a day of judgment. Zalika khayrun, that is better, wa ahsanuta wila, and it is also a better destination for you. Alam tara ila ladina yaz umuna. Do you not see those whom try to uh, boast on what? They try to boast on the fact, and nahum amanu, that they believe in ma unzila ilayk, what's been revealed to you, or ma unzila min qablik. It must been revealed before you. You read on an yatahakamu. They want to base their judgment. They want to base their judicial system ilatahut in that in which has no deity. Waqad umiru, and they were uh, ordered an yakfurubi. They were ordered uh, to 
deny to deny it. So these people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about those who boast that they believe in God. We believe in certain things that the Quran says. And we believe, I mean, don't you see how the Quran is telling us about, you know, our testaments? Don't you see that? So we believe in that more than we believe in your Quran. So if you really believe in your Quran, then believe in what it is telling. But really what they're trying to do is they're trying to get us to stop using Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's uh, judgment, stop using his boundaries. So if you look in the actual uh, laws that they had or that they, that they still have currently, very, very, very little of them are going to be uh, relating back or very small. And we're not just talking about, you know, the Ten Commandments, but we're actually talking about laws of inheritance, rules for the orphans. Uh, we're talking about marital laws. Where in the law, legal system today do we find it relating directly back to Ten Commandments or what have you? Or, uh, but the Quran again gives detail to the last, and this is again the proof of its seniority and the fact that it is here to clarify and abrogate. So you reject the Quran. You say we believe in some of it, and the only amounts that we believe in is the one that substantiates our, our, our script and what it is that we're calling about right now. So when you deny that, you created delusions. People now worshipping a cross or worshipping a naked uh, image on the cross or, you know, uh, worshipping a way in which they, would, they themselves would, would not do in reality. They're worshipping a way that they don't really have strong commitment and understanding. So this is how shaitan used the rejection and the breaking of la ilaha illallah to get them to accept that. And we have a lot of people who accept that today, even those who, who say, those who pray five times a day, all there. Well, you read a shaitan, and the shaitan wants and you him to take them <coughs> away to misguide them in a very long, long, long way. So, shaitan wants to get them off the right way, and he wants to get them as far as possible from the right way. Come and accept what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed, the Quran, wa ila rasul in total Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam. al munafiqina, you see the hypocrites, yasudduna. They start to uh, turn, or they start to say certain things. All right, either they say it or they do it. Anka sududa upon you. So they try to uh, definitely dissuade. Instead of coming and accepting, they come up with arguments, or they come up with statements, or they uh, definitely try to dissuade people from accepting. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and Ayah number 62, فَكَيْفَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ How it is that if something befalls upon them, such as musibah, that is a calamity, بِمَا قَدَّمَتْ أَيْدِيهِمْ That in which they have done upon their own selves by not believing in Allah, ثُمَّ جَاءُوكَ And then they come to you, يَحْلِفُونَ They swear بِاللَّهِ by Allah, إِنْ أَرَدْنَا All we wanted to do, إِلَّا إِحْسَانَ وَتَوْفِيقًا We had good intention, we wanted good things for the people. You know, we had uh, good ideas and... You know, we, we just, you know, put them into practice and, you know, we, 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 we believe sometime. Ula'ika al-ladheena, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says they are the ones. Ya'lamu Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows ma fi qulubihim, that in which is in their hearts. Fa'aridu anhum, therefore, uh, uh, warn them, abstain from them, wa'idhuhum, warn them, uh, correct them, not correct, but uh, admonish them, admonish them, tell them definitely this is not the right thing. And, uh, and Prophet ﷺ in a very famous hadith, he says that you can help a person who is in need of your, uh, of your correct, of, of, of being corrected. You can correct that person uh, if they are doing something which is wrong. You can state and you can tell them, you can speak out against them. But if they're doing something good, then you can definitely support them with rightful deeds and actions. It's even easier. So 
or as the hadith goes, كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام, وقل لهم في أنفسهم, and tell them about themselves, قولا بليغا, that in which they will be able to reflect upon. وما أرسلنا, and we did not send من رسول a prophet إلا ليطاع بإذن الله, except to embrace, except to accept, except to uh, accept the commandment of Allah. Allah Ta'ala did not send any prophet except that prophet's mission was to accept the comm- was to encourage the people to embrace that in which Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has commanded. وَلَوْ أَنَّهُمْ uh, Only if they have ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ If they wrong did themselves جَاءُوكَ Then they come to you فَاسْتَغْفَرُ اللَّهَ And they ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala for forgiveness وَاسْتَغْفَرَ لَهُمُ الرَّسُولِ And they ask uh, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam to forgive them. لَوَجَدُوا اللَّهَ تَوَابُ الرَّحِيمًا They will find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all forgiving, most merciful. So, those who wrong did themselves, you know, again, Allah is telling us how uh, merciful He is. How merciful He is. So it's very important, you know, if, when we wrong to ourselves in the situations we mentioned before, we need to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in correcting ourselves or uh, based on the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, astaghfara lahum rasul we try to, to find a way to do what it is that we do daily on the basis of how Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam did it. Based on the du'as that he made, based on the mentality that he kept, based on his mannerism. Uh, based on the the message of La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, how much he contemplated, and those of us who are uh, having our beautiful uh, Muslim Muslimin Muslimat, uh, of course, always look to the women surrounding the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam and how it is that they they moved or uh, how it is that they operated. Very important. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَلَا وَرَبِّكَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ He is swearing that they will not believe حَتَّى يُحَكِّمُوكَ until you judge فِي مَا شَجَرَ بَيْنَهُمْ until you judge based on that in which they are happy with you judging on. ثُمَّ لَا يَجِدُونَ And then you will not, ثُمَّ لَا يَجِدُوا Then they will not find فِي أَنفُسِهِمْ and themselves حَرَجًا مِمَّا قَضَيْتَ وَيُسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا so after you do all of that, they, you know, being that they did not turn and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive them, and they did not repent properly, uh, even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that they will, not, they will not believe until they find that what you're saying is a watered-down version of Islam, until they find that what you're saying is, is convenient, totally and absolutely convenient for them at that time. If they... You know, start the argument, the debating, uh, reluctant to accept, then they, they, they're not going to find in themselves the ability to accept and to embrace sincerely that in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, even if we wrote for them, katabna alayhim, even if we commanded them to kill themselves, or for them to leave min diyarihim, leave their homes in the path of Allah, ma fa'aluhu, they will not do illa qalilun minhum, except for a few of them. Walau annahum fa'alu, and even if they did, ma yu'adhuna bihi, they will uh, find uh, what it is that they had been promised. Lakana khayran lahum, that would be better for them also. Wa ashadda tathbita, and they will have much more earnings in return. وَإِذَا لَا آتَيْنَاهُمْ Then we would have given them مِنْ لَدُنَّا فَمْ أَسْأَجْرًا عَظِيمًا A great reward وَلَا هَدَيْنَاهُمْ And we would have guided them سِرَاطًا مُسْتَقِيمًا We would have guided them on the right path of Surat of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم And this is another statement Whomsoever does not have Allah in his Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم tomorrow They do not have the right path, period. وَمَنْ يُطَعِ اللَّهَ And whomsoever holds on to Allah or Rasul and his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam فَأُولَٰئِكَ They will be مَعَ الَّذِينَ With those who have أَنْعَمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِمْ Allah Ta'ala has granted them من ال- with من النبيين Among the Prophets والصديقين and the righteous والشهداء the martyrs 
والصالحين and those who those who are in the righteous path those who uh, abstain from wrongdoing in every which way possible وحسن أولئك رفيقا the best of them they are the ones who have succeeded they are the ones who are in the uh, mighty honor and higher status in the eyes of Allah ذلك الفضل that is the reward من الله from Allah وكفى بالله إن الله سبحانه وتعالى سفيس عليما إن الله نوي يا أيها الذين آمنوا أو you who believe خذوا حذركم take upon your weaponry فانفروا ثبات أو انفروا جميعا go in parties or go in a whole group وإن منكم verily there are those who among you لمن لا يبطئنا they have uh, two minds فإن أصابتكم when مصيبة uh, uh, comes upon when hardship falls upon قال قد أنعم الله they say this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alayya upon has distant alayya upon me إذ لم أكم معهم if they are not any uh, anyone else with them shahida ولا إن أصابكم but when uh, فضل when goodness befalls from Allah min Allah la yaqulan they will say kallam takun is as if you two you will not bainakum between you wa bainahu and him Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam mawadda there was no kind of agreement between you you two ya laytani o oh, you all kuntum ma'ahum my lord i was with them fa afuza fawzan azima so i was just enjoying from that great honor that great benefit so they say two different things they say two different things and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is just again reminding us to be cautious فليقاتل really fight في سبيل الله in the path of allah الذين those who have يشرون الحياة الدنيا they have bought their 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 world their world بالآخرة with the akhirah. In other words, they have exchanged this world, or they have exchanged their akhirah for this world. So they know that they're going to meet Allah. And instead of them working for Allah, they say, we're going to work for this world. And being that we, as long as we're getting what we want out of this world, then we are successful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to fight them. وَمَنْ يُقَاتِلْ هُمْ سَأَبَ فَيْتْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ In the path of Allah. فَيُقَتَلْ And he is uh, slain. أَوْ يَغْلِبْ so if he is slain or he befalls, death befalls upon him, then we will give of him, then we will give him ajran azima, great reward. Why is it that not la tuqatiluna, that you are fight fi sabilillahi in the path of Allah? Wal mustada'afin, those who are weak, min al rijal of the men. والنساء and women والبلدان and of the young ones الذين those whom say in other words civilians الذين يقولون those who say ربنا و our Lord أخرجنا grant us a safe passage من هذه القرية from this particular town or city state ظالم أهلها which has wrong done itself وجعل لنا and make us among من لدنك from you وليان Companions, make us among your companions, وَجَعَلَّنَا and make us among مِنْ لَدُنْكَ يُوْ نَصِيرًا Those whom you have uh, made to be and have safe refuge. So now we are going to go into the etiquettes in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions of war. First of all, these ayahs when they came down, they were not uh, until the Muslim community muslim state really had been established because by this time prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was already already signing treaties with the jewish uh, bodies different jewish tribes in medina so they were required just as any state it has to protect itself they were required to protect now they're actually uh, in a state of war now uh, once you have your security in order and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says now uh, protect yourselves you know by fighting through fighting so that is the that is the circumstance so until we understand the circumstance of these ayahs then it's going to be difficult for us to know 
uh, what they are directing for for us because we don't even know what they were directing for those particular circumstances. Again, this is a meaning uh, video, so it is not a tafsir itself. So the tafsir is really what gives those those background and those stories here. We're just trying to take the best lessons out of it and apply it through intellectual sound judgment. Insha'Allah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it. Alladhina amanu dhawsu believe you qatiluna, they fight fi sabilillah in the path of Allah. Walladhina kahru dhawsu disbelieve you qatiluna, they fight fi sabilil taghut in the way of taghut, false deities. Faqatilu fight awliya ash-shaytan, the allies of the shaytan. Inna kaida ash-shaytan, verily the party of shaytan, kana da'ifan, they are weak. Alam tara ila alladhina, do you all not see those whom qila lahum who said to them, kufu aydiyakum, hold your hands back. Hold your hands back. In other words, do not fight each other. Do not uh, wrongdo each other. Okay, in the prior videos, or the prior uh, uh, surahs, it is there where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told and is reminding the people, particularly Banu Israel. You're going to find it in Surah Baqarah where they fighting each other. وَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةِ And establish the prayer at the zakah and to give the zakah, to give charity. فَلَمَّا كُتِبَ عَلَيْهِمُ الْقِتَالِ so when fighting was prescribed after this, after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told them to, you know, be unified, not to cause harm upon each other, to establish the salah, to give the zakah. So that was done. But when the fighting was done, when the fighting was prescribed upon them, إِذَا فَرِيقٌ مِّنْهُمْ Then a party of them said, يَخْشَوْنَ النَّاسِ Whom 